Welcome back to Real Fishing 2, the walkthrough. This is the final segment of our walkthrough of this game. Maybe not the final video that is created on this channel for this game, but the final part of this walkthrough here in the spring and summer of 2020. We are heading to the bonus level called Panda Lake. To unlock this bonus level, you must complete every level in the game, including Coelacanth, and you must have caught all 70 species of fish. So as I played this uh, game, when I caught that coelacanth, I still had to go back and check a couple of other random species that I had missed throughout the game. So here are the species in this level. The cup shrimp. Looks are deceiving. No ordinary shrimp. Um, it's interesting. I, I wonder if that's supposed to be cut shrimp instead of cup shrimp, maybe. Maybe cut with a T. Um, <laughs> and then he doesn't like the tempura rice balls as a bait. Drowned panda. On a hot summer day, a panda was playing. He was having too much fun. And then, uh, so my mic is one of the kinds of baits you can use in this level, and it is that panda's mic. The Eatalot shark is a, uh, it's a rare fish in this lake, but we are going to see one today. I'm going to clear this lake out. If you'd like to see more of these descriptions, uh, go ahead and pause the video. I wanted to include them all because they're all pretty humorous, and uh, pretty humorous the way they've been localized into, uh, into English. Uh, you can see, though, everything about this level is extremely Japanese. Uh, the, you can see the um, squid doing calligraphy. There's a lot of jokes about um, a casual karaoke. Here we have a starfish that likes to make uh, mix poisons in, in its lab. Uh, and everything here is a 2D feel. So everything is kind of a cartoonish, flat, like paper cutout looking feel. So uh, we're going to see all these fish in the water and we're just gonna have a good time with this one this is supposed to be kind of a reward it's fun unlike a lot of bonus levels i was expecting this to be extremely difficult thankfully it's not it's just a little bit of a of a relaxing time by the way a small plug here for the real fishing relaxation series uh, that is uh, about 10 minutes or so of each level of this game and also real fishing one as recording of this uh, that just shows some background music and the the JPEGs of the background levels with the natural sound effects. So if you want to use those for sleeping or working or focusing, those are great. I like to use those. I am including a little bit of this level. I'm not doing a full 10 minutes of this level because this music is uh, probably not as relaxing as the rest of the music in the Real Fishing series, which I have to say the music in this series is uh, way above average. I would say this is top tier music generally in this series. And even this cartoony music is uh, is pretty fun. Thirteen fish. Um, he's looking for his his long lost love. Um, so when his body's karaoke level drops, he begins looking for my mic. Uh, by the way, a small note there: that little marmot or prairie dog or whatever that is in the real fishing logo that turns to, uh, from black and white to color once you've caught all seventy fish. By the way. So you have no choice on your rod, your line, or your rig, but you can choose three different baits. The rice ball, the sausage shaped like an octopus, and then uh, my mic. So, uh, interesting again, I wanted to leave that text in there. Very Japanese from the uh, the rice ball as bait. I'm not sure why, the, I wonder if the black mark on there is um, a little bit of nori, maybe? I'm not quite sure of the if that's the green um, sushi wrap. I was a little bit too late on that one. You can see my my rig is a uh, <laughs> a balloon lifesaver thing, and then uh, on the bottom there you do have decorations like balloons and cactuses and uh, seahorses, and there's all kinds of funky stuff going on. So here is the shrimp. You can see it has the same or it has the the 2D very flat <laughs> look that all of the fish in this level will. It feels weird, though, playing this level. I have to say, it feels very odd. There's a 13 fish there in the background. It feels very strange because they, these fish behave exactly like the fish in the game do. Obviously, they used all the same engine for them. But that 2D look, like, it doesn't feel like they should be uh, doing what they're doing, especially when you have the vibration turned on in your controller. It just, it seems strange to see a 2D image pulling at you like that when you're used to seeing the uh, the much better uh, fish sprites. I shouldn't say they're, they're much better. They're still pretty pixely. This does have the PlayStation 1 look and feel to it through and through with uh, 
all of the kind of slower load times and everything that you kind of come to love and expect from PlayStation 1 era games. There's the cup shrimp, and that's our uh, landing screen too, by the way. There's pretty strong current in this level going from right to left across. And you probably can't see it too well in this, but if you play this level on your own, you'll notice that, uh, in, especially in the middle of the lake, there's a pretty strong right to left current pushing your bait around. But the bite rate is very, very fast in this level. That's why it's not meant to be very hard. It's supposed to just be, you're hooking lots of fish, bringing lots of fish in. Here's the poison starfish. And we get to land these. The shrimp and the starfish are pretty common, uh, especially with the rice ball bait. Some of the other fish are a little bit more rare. Uh, the eat -a -lot shark is the, the rarest fish you'll find. You can see our bait now. We're now using the sausage shaped like an octopus. And here is a new species. I'm going to show you uh, each species in this in this level. There was an eat -a -lot shark in the background there that we saw. Yeah, there's another little glimpse of him. But it's just very strange. Uh, it's hard to describe the experience of fighting these fish in two dimensions when you're used to this this game. So some overall thoughts on real fishing. Saba Dava is the name of this one. Some overall thoughts. I think it's a it's an outstanding fishing game. It has a lot of interesting challenges. They've done a really good job of simulating uh, the uh, a fish fight to. Uh, to be almost like a fighting game where you have to, you know, watch for cues and respond to cues and react with your with your rod. That's always a hard thing to do in making fishing games. And I've played a good number of fishing games in my gaming career. Porcupine fish, there it is. So this is, a, I would say, an above average game for that. Um, better than some of the like NES style games, like the Black Bass um, or the Blue Marlin, in terms of of simulating or, or turning a fish fight into something where you can respond and react a little bit more. Blue Marlin better than the Black Bass, I have to say. This is a 13 fish, and so this one is one that bites on the My Mike bait. And you can see it has kind of a, a human face on the fish body. There's a nice squid in the background there. So a, a human face with kind of an anime boy haircut on, uh, on a fish with the, um, the anglerfish kind of heart. So he's trying to draw his long lost love to him. Here is a drowned panda. <laughs> it's a two dimensional fish wearing a, uh, wearing a lifesaver. And it's just very strange looking at when you're pulling them in and you just see just nothing. So there's a fish that uh, it went into its kick animation, but it was, it was close enough to the landing spot that I was able to get it in. It was still in its kick animation, but I was able to get it in. That's the only way I think that you can land a fish that goes into a kick animation facing the boat like that. So here's the eat -a lot shark, and you can hear this is a bigger one. There's some mushrooms on the, uh, the floor of the lake and some balloons. Makes sense why the balloons would be floating if they're filled with air. Even if they're filled with atmospheric air, they would float if they were underwater like this. Cool. Eat a lot, shark. I was very excited to hook this fish because uh, it was maybe a good 15 or 20 minutes or so of fishing before I saw this uh, the first shark. So it is a pretty uncommon fish in this, in this lake. You catch an awful lot of shrimp and starfish before you start to see some of these other species. And there is the shark. So another one to check off the list. So if you're looking for a game that's uh, it's pretty chill, but it does have some challenging moments, and it does have some some times when you're going to be frustrated. There's times when you you know you need that two footer, and you know you've got a two footer on by the sound of the the kicking and the, the sound that it makes as it moves. And you just know that this is the fish that's going to unlock the next level, and you lose them over and over and over again. That will happen for Red Sea Bream. That might happen when you're IU fishing. Um, that, that might happen when you are on the Sakura Trout level. Um, so hopefully some of the tips that you have seen in these walkthroughs have been helpful, and hopefully this last level here in Panda Lake is kind of a fun celebration of, uh, of a really nice game. Well played, well done, well designed. Thank you to the good people at Natsume. 
Here is the uh, nice squid. This is the squid that we saw uh, doing calligraphy in its bio that we flipped through in the pages. And I would encourage you sometime to go back and check some of those pages. Um, I didn't want to read every word of every page, but feel free to go back and pause. There is some text in this game that I didn't capture that I may do a kind of completionist capture of all the text in this game with some of the music. That might just make it uh, kind of a archival video that I would share on the channel here if anyone wants to dig through any of that. And you notice this is a 13 fish. I missed catching a lot of these fish. These fish are very tough fighters and I was finding myself losing them pretty regularly and they were ended up being the last fish that I needed to clear this game, to clear this level. Oh, by the way, to get to this level, you need to be in free mode. I should have mentioned that as we're finishing up here. Uh, you need to have caught all 70 species and cleared the coelacanth level. Um, but then coelacanth disappears from season mode. You cannot go back to the coelacanth level in season mode. You have to go to free mode to go to this level. I should have said that right up the front. Uh, but when you go to free mode and load your save file, you'll notice that there's different music at the menu. And also, um, this Panda Lake and Coelacanth fishing are in free, free mode. So you can see we've unlocked all the fish. We've finished up Real Fishing 2. And that's going to be it for me, everybody. We've got some other projects coming up. The Final Fantasy V Forge Out Fiesta in the summertime of 2020. Maybe more fishing and exciting games coming up later in this year. I hope everybody out there is staying safe and healthy, and we will see you next time.